Hello everyone. Today I will be talking about the dietary fibers. So as we know, dietary fibers are the remnants of edible parts of plant. They are analogous to carbohydrates, analogous carbohydrates resistant to digestion, absorption, and small intestine. They undergo fermentation in the large intestine. They include polysaccharides, oligosaccharides, and lignin. They exhibit the property of lexation. That is. bulking of feces and softening of feces and increasing its frequency frequency of defecation blood cholesterol and glucose attenuation uh, sorry blood cholesterol and blood glucose attenuation animal food does not contain fiber at all longer duration of degenerative conditions helps more digestion of the fiber changes in changes the pattern of the microbes colonizing the colon and thus the fermentation products it is insoluble insoluble in water is the crude fiber which is cellulose lignin and hemicellulose it has a property of holding water adds to the bulk of the food favors it favors satiety increases the transit time of the food in the gut now it decreases the incidence of coronary heart disease binds to the bile salt and prevent the reabsorption of cholesterol therefore reduces the cholesterol cholesterol level and therefore prevents cardiovascular problems it decreases decreases the postprandial blood glucose it has no metabolic effects excess intake of more than 60 g per day can decrease nutrient absorption can cause bowel irritation The recommended quantity is 40 gram per day per 2000 kilocalories, whereas the quantity may differ according to the type of food taken. Now we have wheat, chickpea, brinjal, carrot, and apple. They have the highest quantity of dietary fiber. Thank you.